next guest this evening is a regular at the Improv in Los Angeles, California. Please welcome very funny man, Jack Gallagher. Thank you. Uh, forgot my hat. <laughs> I won't make it without the hat. Happy to be here. Flew in on American. Uh, happy they didn't strike. I don't know how you feel about that. Happy they... Actually, I, I don't know which is worse, uh, them going out on strike or having them fly the plane unhappy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you feel, but I'd rather not have a disgruntled employee behind the stick. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying yourselves back there? Eh? How do you like that? I actually feel very good flying. It feels safe. They've increased the security. Remember this? They made a big deal about this last fall. Increasing the security make you feel better? Yeah. You know what the increased security is? The guy taking your ticket at the gate says, um, anybody ask you to carry anything? <laughs> That's it? That's what was missing? This is going to trip up the terrorists? Yeah, you got me. Here it is right here. Damn, look, there's the jetway. I was that close. Oh, oh, you're good. You're very cagey. You're very cagey. <laughs> Apparently, terrorists do a lot of things, ladies and gentlemen, but they will not lie when asked a direct question. So there you go. <laughs> I'm not carrying anything for anybody. I'm 43. I'm a wuss. I admit this readily. It feels good to admit you're a wuss. There are middle-aged people here who know what I'm talking about. You don't have to pretend anymore. Somebody chases me, I'm running. That's my option. <laughs> you know what made me realize this? I was watching Braveheart on cable. Did you see that Braveheart movie? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, somebody else should get banged with a stick in that movie, huh? Was that violent enough? What was that? Geez, they would just line up. Mel Gibson would line these... Here, okay, here's my problem with Mel Gibson in that movie. I know that the women love Mel Gibson. His teeth. He has these gleaming white teeth. This is 13th century Scotland. <laughs> Everybody else has these brown nubs in their head. <laughs> Mel's apparently living by lock fluoride, so it's working out for him. But he lines these guys up, and then they just run at each other and hit each other with sticks. They don't stop like 50 yards away and throw the stick. They run, and you know what I'm thinking? No, I am not going to partake. I'm actually thinking if I was there, I would be so far at the back of that group of people I would be the last guy going, go ahead, you go get him. I'm upset. I think I dropped my keys. Go, go. <laughs> I think it's very sad when guys my age still maintain that kind of macho thing. I have a friend that just won't give it up. Uh, about six months ago, I had another friend got mugged. Some guy stuck him up with a gun, took everything, his wallet, his jewelry, the whole deal. So the next day, he's telling me and this other guy about it. My other friend is mad he gave the guy his money. What? Why'd you do that? He had a gun. Had a gun? A gun. <laughs> What are you talking about? What would you do? I'd fight them off. Yeah, the last thing you fought off was a cold. What are you talking about? You know what he actually said to me? I'm not making this up. I got a plan. I got a plan. So what's your plan? Somebody attacks me with a gun. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this part of my hand right here, okay? And I'm going to shove his nose right through his skull. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No, I saw it in a movie. This is a good time to be trying it out. This is a good time to try it for the first time when the guy has a gun in your stomach. What you want to do with a guy with a gun? Make a lot of jittery moves. They like that. What do you think? He's got the reaction time of a sperm whale, the guy with the gun? As soon as your hand goes up, the game's over and you lose. Excellent plan. I have a plan too. My personal plan? Here's my plan. Somebody sticks a gun in my stomach, I'm going to soil myself. That's my plan. Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, gonna scare him away. Yeah, you better run, pal, because there's more where that came from. <laughs> Apparently, I'm getting older because my attention span seems to be dwindling. It's down to nothing because everybody that I talk to under the age of 25 keeps asking me if I know what they're talking about. Have you noticed this phenomenon? Everybody that I talk to, so we went for a ride last night, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get out of the car, you know what I'm saying? Went into the store, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I can process more than tiny bits of information at a time. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, string a bunch of stuff together, I get in trouble, I'll give you one of these. How does that sound? Hey, you guys have been great. Thanks very much. Hello, Tony. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thanks for yourself. Jack Gallagher. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stick around.